So going back here, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Okay, yeah. So I was talking about um, dash lines. yes, dash lines versus uh, solid lines. So a dash line means that it's reading um, lists of lists. So these are broken out into branches of a data tree. Okay, so it's like a subdivision of the data uh, tree, right? So um, then a singular line means that it's a singular list of numerous indices, and it'll continue to just sequentially count all the way down. <clears throat> um, if we start messing with the information, right, like we create 10 modification values for, for radius uh, of the circle, then it's going to move all the way up to number six, and then it's going to modify the next four right there on top of one another. And that's not what we want either. Um, so what we need to do is basically take these numbers and start to read information that's appropriate so that it will always create exactly the number of circles that we need for any case that we have in this grid. That's where it gets really cool. That's, this is where Grasshopper becomes exciting. So anyway, we um, need to go under the list, under set tab, under the list panel, we can read the information of the list to get bits of information about it. So um, let's see. Um, yeah, OK. Uh, actually, let's see, extent, watch. We could do that one a little bit differently. Hang on a moment. Let me see how I want to do this. All right. So um, this is going to work in some cases, but in some cases it might not. It's not the smartest way to do it, but I kind of backed myself into a corner. But you'll get the idea. Um, <clears throat> the, the 10 here is indicative of how many numbers I need. Okay. So um, if I have, let's see, we have extent x is the greater, so that's... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven points, right? So what's going to happen here is I'm going to modify this, and it's going to give me um, zero to five, right? So if I just plug in the extent in the x direction, that automatically tells me how many I, I need to create. Or did I create too many? Yeah, no, that's not going to work. It needs to be this one. Sorry. Um, so now as I increase this, Right, you'll notice that it's going to create more and more numbers in the pattern. Let me extend that, and then I can reduce this. So that's one level of it being a smart function, okay? Because um, it's specifically tied to the way, the orientation of the information being read, right? So that would be the direction of the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, the other way we can do this is if we reverse, well not reverse, but flip the direction of that information so that no longer is it reading the, um, each of those branches, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's now going to read it all the zeros of each branch of the tree get reoriented into the base list. Okay, so it's called flip matrix, and actually I forget where it is. I never really do it, so flip, it might be under vector. I don't know. I'll find it. But here I can say Control Alt that. Okay, yeah. So it's under um, Set and Treat. So flip matrix. When I put that in um, to uh, basically flip the points of the tree to um, to this here, right? It's going to reverse the order of the pattern. Now, um, the circles that it's reading, because these haven't be re been reoriented, right? they're actually reading in the opposite direction. Now what we're reading is these points instead. OK, so it's going 0 up that way. So here's the challenge, right? I set this up so that the uh, y direction was the dominant direction. So if I change this, right, now I have more numbers being created on that side. So I need to remember in this case to swap the number value for the correct side. 
Does that make sense? It's this part. I don't under or I don't I don't expect you to fully understand it. I need to expose you to it because it's going to happen to each and every one of you. Okay, so just be aware that the the direction, right? The the zeros going this way versus the zeros going that way matters. Okay, and then through our troubleshooting and learning process, you know, we'll work through it together and and we'll start to learn how to identify when that is the issue. Yes. Um, it's under set and tree, and it's flip matrix right there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you talked about the dashed line and the solid line, but what about the ones with like the two solid lines by the random? Oh, um, I think if it has a single line, it's just receiving one data packet. And if it has a double line, it's re receiving multiple, I believe. Like each of these is just receiving either one domain or one number, you know. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so I know I just kind of threw a lot at you, and, and mentally it's kind of taxing, but I need, well, um, there are two more things that we need to go over, and uh, I need to do it in a separate video. So hang on.